zooming boys and girls we have made it down here to the deer club deer season is officially here and in this video we're actually going to be taking the bow out and trying to kill a deer but as you guys know the deer club we absolutely love this place and last year we had spent so much time so much effort on it and turned it into almost a hunting paradise we actually completely remodeled this place we got one two three four five six beds and let me tell you last year we had this place loaded down we used every single one of them with hunters we had such a good time remodeling the clubhouse changed everything last year was probably the funnest season we ever had and this season's gonna be even better because we have a bunch of big deer I've been down here doing a bunch of work and I'm excited to show you guys today because there's some monsters running around we went out and actually picked up 65 bags of corn just a little over 3,000 pounds so uh, we got a lot of work to do down here let's roll out to the first spot and I'm gonna show you guys some monster deer that we're after this year Guys, we have made it to the first spot, and honestly, this is probably one of my favorite spots. We put this place in last, Bree, was it last season? It was last season. So we put this place in last season. We got this big old field right here, and all of this is leased land. So I can't cut trees down, but I got lucky in a sense. And if you look, all these pine trees got choked out by all the kudzu, and ended up killing all the trees, and I just came in here and pushed the dead trees over. And obviously there's some trees still standing, those were still alive, so I didn't touch them. But honestly, they ain't looking too good. They got less kudzu on them now, which is good, but uh, they don't look too healthy. But we came in here, we put that redneck blind up, we threw in this 1200 pound gravity feeder, and last season I actually killed my biggest bow buck ever in North Carolina my biggest buck in North Carolina period out of this spot on the very first hunt in this location now that buck was actually named the ghost he was a solid solid 10 point and uh, 25 yards shot him right in the spine which could have been better but we got him we got him but it's crazy because I've been doing so much work down here and I have not filmed any of it and since we're kicking this video off with a deer hunt I just want to show you guys everything we've done yet so far now the food plot right here is coming in a little bit as you guys can tell we got some green coming up I mean that is some good leafy stuff right there the deer are gonna tear this stuff up I mean I'm pretty sure we got radishes turnips clover all the good stuff so if this plot does come up really good this is gonna be killer but we have yet to fertilize anything on this food plot so once we start fertilizing it's gonna get good Bree yeah. what are you doing loading, the loading up the corn Guys, we're gonna go ahead and get everything at the spot situated. And once we get everything done, I wanna show you some of the big bucks we have on camera because this is the big buck spot. So Bree's on her last bag of corn. This thing holds 25, but I think she's did, done did 22. This is gonna be an all time record for you <laughs> foot loading up a feeder. Yeah. Okay, Can I'll you do it. it? I don't know, we're about to see. Come on, girl. 22, 22. This is Bree's spot, so she's been loading up this feeder and feeding the deer here. And we got some good ones on camera. Bree, have you caught your breath? Come on, come here. We, we need we need you to talk about the deer you're gonna shoot. So this spot right here probably has the majority of the bigger deer. And Bree, yeah. you were hunting Forky last year, right? Yeah, I was. So you, so I bought you a bow for Christmas. You, I gave it to you early, you started practicing and you were after Forky with your bow. Probably a 120 inch big wide eight point. We'll pop up a picture here absolute stud of a deer but we let a bunch of bucks go last year and Bree even passed on some pretty good bucks with her bow because she wants her very first bow kill to be forky or at least a deer bigger than forky forky is what she's been after but we do have some deer that will probably score more but they are just not as wide and massive looking as forky now here's a bunch of trail cam photos and pictures we have a big wide six point he needs to get taken out of the herd he's probably like six years old we also have forky a tall 10 that we named boomerang and boomerang i don't really have an age on him but he looks like a pretty i want to let him go i th if it's the deer i think he is from last year he blew up and i think he needs one more year and he's going to be an absolute giant we also have a big wide eight point we named splits because he's got a giant split g2 and then he also has a little bit of a split g3 super super cool deer but he's kind of he hasn't been around the scene here 
recently and a lot of these bucks haven't been daylighting but as soon as they start daylighting we're gonna be on them like as soon as they start getting on a daylight pattern dead we're coming in and killing one and we actually had a new smaller 10 point that's gonna be on the let go list beautiful 10 he actually might be the ghost son which is absolutely crazy exact same rack probably just three years younger and get this we actually named him casper so in a couple years casper he's gonna be for sure on the hit list beautiful beautiful buck gonna be a monster one day Marie, how bad do you want forky so bad like <laughs> i would probably pass up a 10 point walking by yeah well the forky. two 10 points we might have to let go because i think they're younger but That's forky's fine. every bit of six seven years old yeah I he's won't. been on the camera forever we got pictures of forky from 2018 2019 with his probably first or second probably his second rack if i'm being honest but this spot is good to go we're gonna be hunting soon but this is the buck killing plot this is where all of Bree's shooters are so we are gonna be waiting and not hunting this until the time is perfect because that's the last thing you want to do guys if you start just hunting and hunting and hunting a lot of times putting too much time in the woods is worse than sitting back and waiting for the perfect time to hunt so many people will go in and try to hunt a deer because they get a big deer they'll hunt morning and evening every day every chance they get and a lot of times that's not the way to do it deer know when you come in there and come hunting you cannot walk in the woods and go hunting without one deer finding out what you're doing and dude i'm telling you that's you start hunting a lot they find out and get smart quick it's the beginning of the season nobody's hunted we're leaving the spot alone but let's go ahead and let's roll on to the next spot And this food plot is looking a lot better. This food plot's how I wanted all my food plots to be looking at this stage. I gotta get them up before this October lull. In October, I say lull, October drought. Every October, it seems like we go through a drought. And if I can get them more established like this one, it'll make it through the drought. But I bet the deer are eating on this pretty heavy. Let's hop out and check it out. Yeah, this is looking a lot better. A little bit of a dead patch right there, but overall, I mean, this place is looking good. But just looking at the food plot, I can see where deer have came in. If you look at that, let me pull that off. Look at where that deer has nipped that leaf. They are definitely already eating on this. Look at the clover coming up. I don't want to sound stupid and say I know what plant that is, but it's probably a radish or a turnip or something. But the clover's really freaking stout. It's looking good. Looks like there's even some oats in the mix, but a lot of leafy greens for the deer to eat deer forage nine pounds a day nine pounds of leaves think about that for every deer every single one per day eats nine pounds of leaves that's a lot of freaking leaves so putting in these nice food plots definitely is going to help and what do we have going on here what do you got how the heck did the spin feeder break it was way over there i've never seen that well, if we could stop the feeder up so I can see what's going on here. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. We're gonna go ahead, fix this feeder, get everything set back up how it's supposed to be. This is a very good doe stand and we're probably gonna come here tomorrow and smack a couple does. So we need to get this set up. We're gonna run around to the other doe stands, get those set up. I'm gonna pick you guys up here in a bit. At your favorite spot uh no no forky's what's your favorite at, spot the honey hole forky's the honey hole here. where forky's at your spot we have made it out here to the big power line this is where we were having 40 50 deer sits last year we were running three corn piles i actually got triple the amount of food plots this year here which is nuts so there's gonna be a ton of food here we can see for a long long ways this stand has been tried and true since i could walk it's absolutely insane we have killed so many deer here on camera and off camera and you know what let's just let's just roll some of the ones we do have on camera She gone.
But I got something for y'all. I got a little treat. A lot of you might not care. Some of y'all are gonna care. I did a little test. As you guys know, we got the power line right there. And then this side's the gas line. These fields were planted the exact same way. Same sunlight, same everything. Every year they look identical. But one side I planted in tractor supply throw and grow. And the other side I planted in crooked blend that you can actually pick up on Amazon. I have it linked in the description. I'm not sponsored, but if y'all are watching this, I'm gonna need some bags next year. That stuff is good. So here's the gas line. This is what tractor supply throw and grow did. And this is just killing the weeds, broadcasting the seed into the dead grass and mowing it over. This is this plot. Not too hot. But the Crooked Blend, it is looking spicy. Check this food plot out, man. The Crooked Blend was 100% the move. Both products got the exact amount of seed recommended by the manufacturer. And Throw and Grow, trash, don't buy it. But Crooked Blend, it's looking good. I mean, look at all this big leafy stuff. I don't see any deer eating on it yet. But this plot is so big, I'm sure. Dude, look at this. Look at all this stuff, man. The deer are gonna eat that up. So up there, if you guys can see in that group of trees, that is actually a 12 by 11 box house stand. We can see like eight, 900 yards this way and about 600 the other way. So you're just covering so, so much ground. And that's kind of a rare situation for North Carolina. And it is so much fun to hunt. And you put a lot of food out here. I mean, you're pulling different groups of deer from one side to the other, which is nuts. So you end up seeing so many different deer. I mean, 40, 50 different deer in a hunt is so crazy. Bree, you actually shot Hershey last year here, didn't you? Yeah, I did. That's probably one of my favorite hunts so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and your little sister, killed her buck spiny spiny because she spined them <laughs> but that's enough talking let's go ahead let's roll into the hunt see if we can't kill our first deer of the season all right guys we have just rolled up it is already 4 42 it is uh kind of late to be going into a deer stand it's gonna be about a two hour set this stand i know the creek runs right by it so i know we're gonna be able to sneak in there pretty quietly and have that creek flowing and making noise to uh, cover up the dry leaves we're about to walk across. But I have been doing some hunting, it has not been going well, but hopefully tonight we can get it done. Now that's what we're thinking, that's what we're praying, it's just a whim. This is the hunt that we just said, screw it, let's go. So we're gonna roll in here, we're gonna get quiet when we get out of this truck, <laughs> sneak up into the stand and see if we can't smack a duck. When you say you've been doing some hunting, Braden, how much hunting have you been doing? I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> I promise you, we're gonna see two button bucks and a spike at this spot. And I promise you, I'm getting them, itchy to smack one in one the face. One of them is going down. I, I I can't bring myself to do that, but their mama, Mike missed her. Like, oh, oh, that's true. Mike missed the mama. And the mama is back, but the mama is like very, very skittish. So she steps in the field 40 yards. You gotta take her. I'm shooting, so right. let's get her done. We have made it up in the stand. We're actually sitting in one of these nice redneck blinds. I'm not a big fan of the redneck blinds. Very loud windows for bow hunting. We're set up. We got a feeder down there. Nice little food plot coming in. It doesn't look like there's a lot of corn on the ground, so they've definitely been eating. Yeah, no, up. they're being eaten. Two nights ago, three nights ago, maybe, maybe four. We had a new group of does come in here, but then the camper died probably the next night. So I'm hoping this new group of does are coming in here every night. Goal is just get some meat on the ground. I don't know why it's been such a pain in the ass, but I've put in quite a few hunts and it has not been going my way. We're gonna get this window opened up, sit back, get quiet, see if we can't smack a doe. Got a deer coming in. We don't have our window open yet. Straight past the feeder. That's a doe from the looks of it. Yeah. Son of a oh, she's on to us. No, she's not. I oh, know she's she's looking. She's stomping already. No, oh, she wagged her tail. She's good. A whacking her tail does not mean she's good. When I whack my tail, I'm good. Dude, I'd crack a window now before later. She's walking the other way. Good job. I'm trying to kill these does at. They're my buddy stands. I send all my buddies to them. These deer are smart because of that. <laughs> what are you saying about your buddies? I'm just saying they these deer have learned a lot. But we're gonna just keep the windows shut up. 
the rednecks, they're allowed to open the windows, but I'm gonna try to shoot out this side window, which is quieter, when, and it's a bow window. We're just gonna sit back, lock our scent in here, let the deer come in, get used to the corn pile, open up the window, blaster. Let's get back to wait and see if we can get another toe in here. There is a little area to see. Where? It's at the creek right now. Oh yeah, I do see that deer. So you got a range finder? Yeah. Get it. 42 yards, 43. You want the It's that breed of price. Just stick my pistol out the window like a gangster sideways. She ducked before that hair yes. got there. Yes. She's dead, but that she ducked that hair before yes. it got there. Oh man, dude, we did it. <laughs> Bro, with the wrong wind. My oh, is that not the funniest shit? We come in at five o'clock. We have a deer come in just for no reason. Catches us, wins the shit out of us. And I'm like, dude, the wind is right. What is going on? I looked at Onyx, I said, shit. This deer comes in. She stayed in between us and the feeder, could not shoot. And it was getting dark so quick. Dude, when I shot, I could barely see my pen. <laughs> Let's go. go. Finally. I mean, the shot, I don't know if it was that good. She was ducking, but I heard the solid thud. Yes. And watched oh, the yeah. air pass through. But, dude, I'm a little worried about the shot. But that doe would not get behind the damn feeder. No. I mean. <laughs> you, think, I, you think she knew what she was doing? She knew what she was doing. <laughs> but I'm a little concerned because she looked like she ducked and rolled a little bit. She was in a roll as she was coming down. So I'm, I'm a little worried that it was high, a little worried that it could be a little back. My issue is, is I couldn't really lay eyes on my bubble level yeah. when it starts getting low light. So I had to go off just instinct feel. And I think we we, we killed her. She she ain't living. I'm gonna watch the footage, see if we need to give it time. I think we're good. I think we're gonna have a drag out. Well, we'll see, let's check the footage we'll see. out. We'll, we'll, we'll watch. That's a big doe. Here. I mean, they literally behind the feeder behind all the feeder, the whole could not time. shoot. And we were terrified to open the window and let any scent out. She had moved back. And so I was like, dude, she was at 35. I prop, she was probably at 37. I shot my 40 pin. That's where I'm just like, dude, I'm worried that I was high. No, she was at 40. She was at 40. She just ducked. Here we go. Yeah, she was definitely at 40 yards, maybe 38. And I put it right in her armpit. She tuck and roll. She, one thing is, is the entrance might be far back, but she was turning yes. in that roll, and so we probably have a good exit. We're filming through that foggy ass window, bro, trying to keep our scent in. If we got good blood, we'll probably take it up. Yeah. So let's walk down there. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we have made it down here on ground zero. <laughs> ground zero? What do you think, bud? What does ground zero mean? What do you think of this the rednecks? This ground one. Have the first deer down, so we're gonna call it ground one. Well, first deer down for the season, yeah. actually, son. Yeah, first deer down. Let's walk through our pretty food plot over to our arrow. Depending on the blood will be what we decide on tracking this deer. All right, so there's our arrow. She is definitely standing like somewhere in here. Yeah. Not seeing any blood yet. How does the arrow look? Oh, Ooh, the arrow is arrow spicy, buddy. Arrow is spicy. Yeah. She down? I'm not liking the look of that. Not at all. A lot of red blood, but look, that looks like guts on there. You see that? I mean, what is that? You see all the little crap on there? Yeah. It don't smell like guts. Dude, you're red from tip to toe, buddy. It is freaking covered. Let's pop that back in the ground right there. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Your rape blood off the start. We're gonna sneak our way in here and just, just follow it. If blood gets slim back out but so far blood is nuts i lied where'd it go <laughs> <laughs> there's there's some right in front of you yep she's still pouring there's a lot of it son oh yeah there we go there is a lot of it oh my gosh oh buddy 
Oh, buddy. Look at, look at this line of blood. That's a skid mark right there. We're 30 yards from hit. Blood is pumping out of this deer. I tell you what, I cannot wait to eat this freaking deer. Yeah. I joke. lost all my deer meat. My freezer at my house went bad. I lost like five deer. Like summer sausage, snack sticks, like high dollar shit. There she is. No. I'm pretty sure I see an eyeball, it looks like. That's gotta be her. That's her, no. baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Not a good shot, man. Oh, boy. Well, that was exit. So side. that's exit. Yeah. So what's entrance look like? Oh, wow. That was way bad. That was back. bad. That was a bad shot, man. But uh, that's a big doe. <laughs> Come on. Give Let's me some fun. I mean, she expired. I mean, yeah. what's it been, 20 minutes? Dude, so, first day of the year, not happy with the shot, but she's dead. <laughs> you look, we seen the blood at the start and like, yeah, man, that's a uh, pretty good blood to follow. But like I said, I seen that little grit on the arrow. Oh Typically yeah. Typically see that with guttish type shots. Yeah. And if it wasn't for all the red blood, I wouldn't have even walked Would right not here. have, would not have came, but. No. Uh, Got her. All right. All right, I'll see you back at the truck there, bud. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> We gotta get this this deer out of here. Yeah, son of a gun. You've been talking about getting back into working out, didn't you? When I, I've never worked out, <laughs> not once. The belt is coming off, people. Let's get the dragon. Oh, my pants are gonna fall down to my ankles. <laughs> as long as I can get her up this little hill portion. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why am I out of breath? Holy sh! That done? was what five yards? <laughs> Ten yards? Come on! Huh? That's a big girl. That is. That is a big doe. She a hundred something pound. Everybody laughing. <laughs> hundred pound <laughs> doe. <laughs> oh, our, our spawns when they have dots are that big. Where the hell are we? Right. What do you feel? Fat. <laughs> Golly dang, son. Hey, I'm gonna see if I can get my truck in here. Oh, we gonna get it. Yeah. We don't fall in the creek. All right, don't want to sink the truck. See how long it takes for me being allergic to deer for it to kick in. Hey, if my throat swells up and I can't breathe, I don't know what to tell you to do, but <laughs> film it. But you got a bug over there, bud. <laughs> Dude, that was t -t -t tight. That was pretty tight. Getting the truck down through here. You were sliding in there. Two wheel drive, started sliding in the creek, had to put it in four. Oh. I was sketched. You were like way up on the road, but. Oh yeah, now I could see you sliding. Dude, the more I look at this dough, this is a pretty big dough. It's a good size dough. I mean, let's get a little, a little shot real quick there, for bud. sure. Actually. Oh yeah. Let's set up for a picture. We need to get a picture. First deer of the season. Yeah. Let's set up. Turn the camera back on. Well guys, it took honestly way too much work, but dude, check it out. She still has the food plot in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get her to the processor if they'll take her. If they don't take her, your boy's gonna freaking No, the guy behind the camera is gonna be You're gonna clean her? Oh, oh dude, yeah. let's just go ahead and do that then. But let's get her loaded up, man. We gotta get get rolling. That was uh a lot of hours putting in for a simple dough. But that's what I'm saying, man. As soon as they know what's going on game over when it comes to hunting like this you just gotta leave it alone and come back and hunt it we went on a bear hunt so it's been a week since we last hunted oh yeah that's the only reason it kind of pulled together we yeah. messed up at the beginning of the year doing the morning hunts not great but we got her done oh i gotta get my air first one of the year son put that air in the quiver we're gonna leave it bloody for a little while just to remember old girl until we get her back from the processor let's get this thing loaded up if the belt's gonna break, this is when it's gonna break. Or also, if my pants are gonna fall down, this is it. <laughs> okay, we're good on underwear. You, make sure I wasn't wearing nothing goofy. You all don't time. have your pink ones on today? <laughs> nah, my SpongeBob's are at home. <laughs> Our big 100 pound dough. Well, that's gonna be good eating. Couldn't be happier. We got our first deer of the season. First of many. Maybe the season's gonna take a turn for the better. It's been fun. It's been real. This video's getting long. We got summer sausage, snack sticks, and jerky to go make. Then we'll get into some like deer steaks later down the road. But we gotta get our clubhouse snacks done. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, if you're excited for hunting to be back, hit the like, subscribe. Hunting content is about to be all time high. Doing a merch drop before Christmas. I was gonna do a hunt giveaway since we have the clubhouse all fixed up from last season. If you guys haven't checked out that series, it's a pretty cool series. 
fixing up the hunting cabin. But giving away a hunt, that is something I really, really wanted to do. Uh, I think it'd be cool to fly a couple of you fans out here and take y'all hunting and uh, not let anybody hunt in any of the spots for two weeks before y'all fly in. So it's just easy peasy. Um, but uh, I think it'd be cool. Got a bunch of good deer running around this year. If you guys want to do that, do a hunt giveaway, hit the like, subscribe. We'll catch y'all on the next one.